in the previous video we have added all of our AI characters now in this video we will create a system in which we will spawn different AI characters inside our environment so for that first of all let's create a prefabs of all of these five characters so if we go inside prefabs then AI characters let's start from the first one let's drag and drop the AI character right in there and then for the second one let's drag and drop the second one then open up the third folder drag and drop the third character then the fourth one so drag and drop the fourth character then the last one is this one so we will drag and drop that one as well now select all of these five characters then click the mouse right button click on prefab and click then on unpack completely because now we have all of the prefabs ready right here as you can see now once you have the prefabs go inside the scripts folder then inside the traffic ai and right here we will create a new c sharp script by the name of ai spawner press enter and then click on the waypoint origin right here we will just simply drag and drop the script and then let's open this up in visual studio code right here we will remove the start and update function and at the top we will create a array so we will say public game object we will add these brackets it means that this is an array and let's name this array as ai prefab inside this array we will drag and drop all of our ai characters prefab and then we will spawn that prefabs after this we need a value to determine how much ai characters we want to spawn so for that we will create a public integer by the name of ai to spawn you can name this variable whatever you want after this let's create a enumerator function by the name of spawn and let's call this function inside the start function so right here we will say start quarantine and in here we will call this spawn function then inside this spawn function we will type all of the code which will spawn the ai characters so in here let's create an integer by the name of count which will be by default equals to zero and then let's add a while condition and in here we will say that if the count is less than the ai to spawn for example if we set the ai to spawn to 50 then it means that yes ai to spawn is greater than the count so when that is the case we will then spawn different ai characters so right here first of all let's create a random index which will choose different characters from the characters array which we created right here so let's name this one as random index this will be equals to random dot range and the range will go from 0 to the ai prefab dot length so for example if we have five characters then this rendering text will go from 0 to 5 and it will choose between that five characters and then spawn some random character inside our environment okay so after this now let's just simply instantiate our prefab array so for that we will type game object object or you can name this whatever you want i will name this as obj as you can see then i will say instantiate i want to instantiate the ai prefab and then as i told you we will spawn different ai characters or you can say random so for that we will use the random index which we created right here which is from 0 to the ai prefab length and as you know the ai prefab length will be 5 so it will choose different characters from that 5 options and then it will simply instantiate that inside our environment now after this let's go ahead and create a random child from our 
waypoint list so for that we will say transform child and this will be equals to transform dot get child then we will say random dot range the range will be from 0 to the transform dot child count minus 1 then after this let's set that as our current waypoint for the AI character so we will say obj dot get component then we will say waypoint navigator then dot current waypoint will be equals to child dot get component we want to get the waypoint script and that is it so what this will do is I told you this will get a random child from our waypoint list and then right here it will set that random child as our current waypoint for the AI character so in simple words what this will mean that whenever we instantiate a new character we will give a random waypoint to that character or actually you can say that we will spawn that AI character on a random waypoint and then from that waypoint in the forward direction our AI character will move for now we don't have anything for moving that character then in the forward direction so let's move them towards the newly assigned waypoint position for that we will say obj dot transform dot position and this will be equals to child dot position then we want to set the time for how many seconds later we will spawn another character so for that we will say yield return new wait for seconds and we want to wait for one second and after that we will spawn another character and after that we will say count plus plus so whenever we instantiate a new AI character we will increase our count value by one so now for example if the AI to spawn number is for example 20 then it will just simply run this loop again and again and when this count become equals to 20 as well and then this loop just expires then after that this loop will simply ends so it was simple as that now let's go ahead and save the script and before saving if you notice this make sure that you make the o small okay it is wait for seconds only w f and s is in capital form now if you get back to unity click on waypoint origin now as you can see we have the ai prefab array right here and then we have the ai to spawn number so in the ai prefab we as you know only have five prefabs if you have more than five then you can just type that value right here and it will give you an option for that okay now let's try to add all of the prefabs right here so if we click on prefab ai characters let's go ahead and add our first one let me to uh, log this inspector so that it doesn't disappear whenever we click on the folders right there okay so now let's drag and drop our first prefab make sure that you drag and drop the prefab not this dot fpx okay so here is the first one then we have the second one after this we have the third one then the fourth one and at the end we have this fifth one and let's set this AI to spawn value to for example 20 and now it will spawn 20 different characters from these options let's now just simply play the game and you can notice that after every one second a new character is being spawned let me unlock this inspector and as you can see all of the values assigned 
by default now let's check it out as you can see there is all of our AI characters as you can see don't worry about this issue as you can see they are in the air because we didn't use the use gravity thing in the rigid body if we use that then all of the things will be sorted out as you can see now spawning the AI characters working perfectly fine so now <clears throat> let's fix this issue which is the AI character spawning in the ear I think this is not due to this rigid body use gravity because that is already being tipped this is the issue with our waypoints if you notice right here our waypoint is in the ear as you can see so that's why it is spawning the AI character right here in the ear and we actually don't want that so what we will do we will select our waypoint origin let me turn on the gizmos and now let's try to move all of these to the ground like that okay for example right here now if we save the game and let's play it again And now you can see all of the characters are spawning on the ground as you can see. Okay, there are all of the characters as you can see spawning on the ground. For now we don't have the animations so that's why they look really ugly. But don't worry about that. In the next video we will add animations to our character as well. But for now as you can see it looks really beautiful. So now we have some basic traffic AI system right here. Now in the upcoming videos we will work on this traffic AI system even more and make this perfectly fine. So with this done catch you guys in the next one.